Welcome to the Creative Plan Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews of items, and convention panels, and other exciting things that we run into from time to time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, welcome back to Creative Play and Podcast. Jim and Kelly here. Hello! It is August the 18th, and do you know what we have today? Yes, plenty. Yes, we have plenty of things to say about plenty, which is the mm-hmm. word of the day for it's hashtag plentiful. RPG at day 2019. Mm-hmm. So, what, what do you have in your, your, your quiver of plenty? Ha 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 ha. You know what I have plenty of? <laughs> Although you can never have enough. Dice! Oh, no. oh my god, I love dice so much. I love, you know, I don't really like the, um, I know that a lot of, you know, we're living in the day of smartphones and all that type of mm-hmm. stuff. And there's dice roller, dice roller apps and stuff. But there's no contest to actually being able to roll the physical dice. And I love dice. I love dice. I love lots of colors. I can remember buying my first set of dice from things from Thinkers when it was around. And they were usually the uh, um, brightly colored clears, you know, that, you know, oh, I had a rainbow of the different colors and stuff. Um, and now with the really, really pretty stuff they have now, mm-hmm. I've got glitter, I've got multicolored, I've got marbleized. Um, yeah, you can never have too much dice. I even have dice shaped like bullets. I love it. Um, but I have plenty of dice, but I can always use more. <laughs> see, so that's one thing as a GM I do like. When you see your players putting out their dice, Mm-hmm. And they're almost like a small army or platoon fashion, you know, so that way you know the players are ready. They're good and ready for, for, for plenty of mayhem. So, you had plenty of dice, huh? Plenty. So, I would like to throw out there from a GM point of view, make sure you have plenty of ideas on the back burner. Make sure that when you're not gaming, you're thinking about gaming stuff and writing down plenty of encounter ideas. So that way, in case your group goes left instead of right, or they decide to opt out of the night's adventure, you have something to throw at them just in case, to buy you plenty of time to come up with what the adventure should be. Because if you have multiple encounters set up in your head and you just know that what's going on in the world besides what's going on for your adventures, that way you've got plenty of ammunition to throw at them if need be. True. And, you know, let's be honest, when you're GMing, there's, you're constantly, like, in the shower, on the, on the road, having to hit your phone for a recorded memo. They say that the um, three of the most creative times, bed, bath, and bus. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you're just doing those almost mindless mundane things... things. Um, where your your mind is partially engaged, uh, but you're not actively focusing on a, an issue, you can get inspiration or a breakthrough. That's true. And that way you've got plenty of story ammunition saved up to use for your, your characters. And, you know, another thing I toot, I toot my horn with some of my gaming groups is if you have a l- plenty of things planned, you can always change tracks in the group. Or... You can take an idea you had for a fantasy group and steal it for your sci-fi Star Wars group. Or vice versa. So that way you have options. 
So that way when, you know, you have an idea of, mm, what am I going to do next? You have plenty of things that you can pull from. But I will also throw out there too that uh, make sure that you have plenty of art sleep before you run games or you play games because there's nothing worse than if you have not gotten plenty of sleep and your energy is low, down low at the floor and your player group feels it and they get all distracted and things. And that's like stuff we talked about on other days. Sure. So make sure that uh, A, got plenty of dice because hey, everybody loves a dice bar. B, people love someone who's got plenty of dice so they can borrow dice. <laughs> hey, I'm all I'm always willing to lend everyone but the GM my dice. <laughs> you have a way of cursing my dice. No, I just I just assimilate them like the board. <laughs> now they roll plenty well for me. And uh, make sure that you have plenty of rest, both players and GMs out there, because you know, hey, let's self care is one of the most important things, and we all know how much we are willing to destroy our bodies to get plenty of game time in. <laughs> we all know how that one. Works. And make sure that you have plenty of ideas because there's nothing worse than when you have burnout because you've ran out of ideas or you feel like I've got no good ideas. So recharge your imagination, read a book, watch a movie, hit Netflix, listen to a podcast, listen to an audiobook. There are plenty of ideas out there. So that's a good place to wrap up August the 18th for plenty. Down in the depths of the mountain, we dwarves spend our time forging powerful weapons, mining precious gems and metals, and feasting like kings. But after a day of digging for the next Arkenstone, this dwarf likes to come home to a package full of loot. Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box service forged specifically for RPG and tabletop gamers. Miniatures, dice, tokens, coins, maps, modules, terrain pieces, handcrafted items, RPG jewelry, and more are yours for only a few gold per month. You even get a digital crate along with a physical one as an added bonus. So are you brave enough to reward yourself with a dungeon crate? By Morden's beard, I hope so. Dungeoncrate.com. Let the adventure begin. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.